name's Greg Prophet. I own the Creepy Crawl Haunted Pub Tour. We're on the third floor of Moon River Brew Pub. You may have seen this place on TV. It's been videoed numerous times here. Uh, I first started coming here in 1996 when this opened up back then. It was called Oglethorpe's Brew Pub. Now it's Moon River. And this place, from the very first time I came in here, it, it just, well, just being in here, you get sometimes get a feeling of heaviness in the air. We've had numerous sightings. I've had tour guides that couldn't work for me because they were afraid to come up here after they've had one or two experiences. I've had customers on the tour come up here somewhat skeptical about the ghost stories, but when they'd come up here, they'd walk away with a total different attitude. Now we don't start the tour here, this is where we'll finish it. We normally will start the tour at the Sixpence Pub, which has a ghost there named Larry. Larry's not gonna harm anybody, he's kind of mischievous. You have a tendency to turn faucets on, tip beers over, different things such as that, open doors for you, uh, which to me is just a fun thing. Some people kind of get disturbed by that, but a great place, great food. From there, we'll head over to McDonough's Pub, which is right around the corner. McDonough's has got a ghost there that we believe it's a man named Phil that used to have a sandwich shop there years ago, but we don't honestly know. Uh, but with, with, there's been numerous people that would tell me they've seen him in there after they went to his funeral. And uh, again, kind of a mischievous ghost, not causing a lot of trouble, unless, unless this stuff really scares you. But, uh, We'll leave McDonough's and we'll go over to the Colonial Park Cemetery on a ghost tour. I would say you really should go by a cemetery if possible. I had my first sighting at the Colonial Park Cemetery about 25 years ago, driving a horse and buggy. Uh, if you haven't had a runaway carriage and uh, you haven't lived yet, uh, the horse took off, one of the customers jumped out of the carriage running away screaming. We all saw the same thing, there was two of them, and we all saw them. So. Now after the cemetery, I like to go to a little place called Abe's on Lincoln, a very small little place in the basement area. We, the ceiling is low enough that I can reach up and touch it. Uh, we have two ghosts in there, kind of a sad story. A beautiful young girl married at 15 to a much older man, about 50. Five years later, on the anniversary of their fifth wedding anniversary, the man poisons his wife to death. And the next day, while in custody, he hangs himself. Uh, from there, we'll head over to a place called Zunzi's. Now, Zunzi's used to be Churchill's pub when I first started my tour. They had actually found skeletal remains in the basement. The back room of Zunzi's was a boxing ring back in the 1800s, beard not good boxing. And the last fight that took place just the day before General Sherman occupied Savannah, a man from Charleston beat a local man to death after the bell. The local people hanged him in the place and buried him in the basement. A lot of fun activity there. 